Hey friends, guess what? It's spooky month. And you can probably tell that by this little pumpkin decoration here. Because that is all I could reasonably justify spending for this video. I just realized I never sanitized this thing. Oh no. Now, believe it or not, it's actually pretty hard to spook me. Mostly because nothing right now is scarier than living another prolonged day in this hellscape of a country I'm currently in. And vampires are pretty scary too, you know. But I, don't, I think it's hard to be a vampire. But anyway, um, I could not think of a better way to celebrate Spooky Month than with something almost as scary as that. Behold. Is this upside down? Behold. So, this is Tokyo Tree. It's a subscription-based thing that basically just sends you Japanese candy and other snacks. Uh, I saw an ad for it on Facebook a while ago, and they were doing like a Halloween Pokemon thing. And I'm like, well, I like Pokemon, so I ended up getting it, just because I thought it would be a fun little one-time thing. But it turns out that, um... They kind of didn't tell me I was doing the subscription thing instead of a one-time box because they did not make it very clear. And I ended up getting November's box along with this box uh, like a couple weeks later before I finally realized and canceled it. So in order to justify the price of these, I was like, oh, I'll just do the video. It'll be funny. We'll all have a good time. And um, you can probably see where this is going, considering I have November's box in early October. These are both about a year old. Um, I I just never ended up eating them because of time and work and school and more work and personal projects and more work. But I figure now. For Halloween, there's no better time than to have just come full circle and be at the October box again. But you know, what's the point of Spooky Month if you don't dress up for it? So I'm going to change out of this into something a little more comfortable. Ta da! I know that's a little bit uninspired and weebish and kind of lame, but I'm not even going to be home for Halloween, I'm gonna be at work and not like anyone's going to be out on Halloween anyway. So this, I think, suited my needs for the most part. Anyway, this is choking me. Let's see what we got inside. I'm abusing my phone camera because I don't have a secondary camera. It's not a phone camera. So please excuse my 10 year old iPhone quality. So we got a lot of fun stuff in here. Um, first things first, you can see this little zombie candy. It's a it's zombie and he's blue. Um, they got a little booklet that just has some like activities and details in the box. If anyone wants to scan that, they can. Um, I'm not because I don't think whatever it is is valid. And um, they, they have this little recipe here for some reason. I'm not making it. I don't have that kind of time. And then there's challenge box thing. And more words. Alright, then here we got a big bag of something. Um, I can't read any of this. I assume these are to pizza, maybe? Is that pizza? What the heck is this? We got squid. Um, this one I think I'm going to be very unpleasantly surprised with. Uh, this is like this little make a thing things. I actually probably won't do this one because Bruno Moose did a video on them and it was like half an hour. I don't have that time. We have the guy from the Alex Bell anime. This one I actually will admit I had one piece of for another video that ended up failing because I lost the audio for it. it wasn't that good anyway. But um, this one I did have a piece of, I will admit. And um, it's, it's this one's a trip. That's why I think this is going to be a good video. <laughs> we got this. I think it's just a marshmallow. I don't think it's too much more elaborate than just a marshmallow. I can't see why it would be anything other than a marshmallow. 
um, I will be very scared if it's something other than a marshmallow. Oh, no. We got witch. We got ghost. We got microphone falling over. We got pizza dough tortilla buns. Uh, they, finally, we're getting to the Pokemon stuff. Um, this is like a little Gengar cookie, I think? Like a Cheeto puff, but chocolate? I don't know what that is. Uh, we have this guy who is high AF eating Twizzlers. Um, I think this- is this Doramon? I think this is Doramon. That's a cute werewolf, though. I can't read any of this. Oh my god. Pikachu gummies. This one I'm less scared of. They're, they're grape gummies, it looks like. I, I don't know how I can be scared of grape gummies. There's there's no... Gummies don't go stale, right? Mint ice cream balls. Pumpkin pie tick, Kit Kats. Those aren't Tic Tacs. They are definitely not Tic Tacs. Um, I think, if I remember, right, Kit Kats are like actually really big in Japan. They're, they're like a, a whole industry there. Because there's like different flavors and it sounds something like love or something. I don't know, that's your fact of the day. <laughs> and then finally we have this, um, I forget what they're called and I just looked at the name too so that's embarrassing. Th this is so old, this was before Galar came out, Sword and Shield, they, they still have the Sun and Moon Pokemon on it. But these drinks, I, I've had a couple times, they're not awful. Um, I'll probably drink it. It's, it's just sugar water. I like the bottle though, I'll probably keep the bottle. So let's put all this junk back in here. So obviously I think we need to start with the booklet. That seems like the most obvious place to take the first bite. That was... That was not great. Next up, let's do the zombie candy. Let's see if I can open it. I can smell the blueberry. And also, the box is super crushed. Here, I'll bring it up here. Oh, I took my phone off. Um. That's probably because of me. I've unpacked and repacked this thing several times. It's probably because of me. I think these are like lemon heads, almost. They look it. Just a little blue ball. It's like a whole bunch of them in here. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One blue ball. Oh no. We're at the point of the of the candy thing already. Where we go, is it gum or is it swallowable? I'm gonna say gum. I think this is gum. Yeah, this is just blueberry gum, I think. But I don't want that. We know what happens. We know what happens to the last person that tried blueberry gum, and the person after that, and all of the art that came after that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any more of these right now. That one's not bad. It's just um, blueberry gum. It lost its flavor really fast. I don't know if it's because it's stale or just not a good gum. Someone's coming upstairs. All right, next, let's try the tortilla bun with the witch on it, the anime witch. Little witch academnems. All right, so they, they look like they're just wafer or giant potato chips almost. Here, you get, get a good look at that. It's reflecting the light off of it a little bit. I think it's, I think it's just a wafer. But like, there's a little packet of stuff in here. Oh god, that's liquidy. That's not a good sign. Is this jelly? 
Okay, so apparently my camera ran out of memory partway through. Um, thankfully, I did not get too much further. I tried the wafer jelly thing and short story short, short story short, I am not having another bit with the jelly. Wafer itself is fine, it's just a sweetened wafer, but the, the gel, it's literally jelly. It's just grape jelly and it does not go very well on the wafer. Nope, just for you guys. I'm gonna do one more. All, all three of you watching this. Just for you. Nice little glob at the end there, so I can get a good claw. Yeah. Still bad. It's, it's grape. Grape does not... Why does grape work on a wafer? Who thought... Grape worked on the wafer. Wafer itself is fine. Grape does not help it. I'll eat the wafers even. I should preface this saying um, I haven't had lunch yet or anything to eat today at all. Um, and I only have this little soda right here to wash things down with if they are awful. So I'm pretty hungry right now, actually. <laughs> I might eat things I would not normally otherwise. Alright, let's do the elephant in the room. This big scary boy that looks like pizza. I don't know what else it could be. Pumpkin? Maybe pumpkin. I'm not getting anything from the smell test. It's not a great sign. Oh, uh, yep. So little packets of like these Cheerios. I'm gonna pour them out in my hand. There. They they look a little squishy, but they're very solid. And still not getting a good scent on them. Let's let's do. These are little bite-sized things. They want us to do a handful at a time. So let's do three to give it a taste test. I wasn't wrong. That That's pizza. I'm pretty sure that's pizza. <laughs> what is this candy? <laughs> Ugh. It has a weird aftertaste to it. Like, if you've ever tried fake pizza before, you know the aftertaste. It's the faux pizza aftertaste. I don't need to eat more of these. I'm sure someone will eat them. Ugh. Ugh. Aftertaste is not that great. Mm. Alright, let's get the bad stuff out of the way now while I still have some soda. Ika ashi are. Ugh, God, it smells like fish food. I'm sure if I had a fish tank, they would love this. I I know I'm not gonna like this. This is squid. I I'm not a fan of seafood in general, so I'm only gonna eat one and then toss this whole bag. Stale squid too. <laughs> That's really weird because it's, I don't know if it's because it's stale or not. I don't know if it's because it's a year old, but this, it, it tastes more like a regular cracker, like crunch thing, like a Cheeto without cheese on it, but like a faintest, faintest hint of like something. I don't know if it's squid. I don't know if it's something else, but there's something there. Just the faintest hint of it. It's like a, otherwise just like a stale, plain Cheeto. Yeah. Alright, next up is 
This, oh god, this thing. I think I know what this is actually. I think I've, I think it's a cookie that has like orange or some other fruity filling and it's like covered in little bits of, not dry, like popcorn rice almost. That's my prediction based on what I'm feeling here and based on something similar I've had before. Oh, I'm kind of right. This is super crushed. Oh god, it's falling apart everywhere. So it's it's a rice cake with like chocolate on it. I think it's chocolate. All of the chocolate's falling off. They're all crumbs on my desk right now. But look here, here they are, chocolate crumbs. That's a rice cake with really bad chocolate. The rice cake part's actually okay. The chocolate's just not that great. I mean, it's not awful, but it's not very good chocolate, especially because it's all flaking off and I'm just getting like chocolate chips at this, chocolate paint chips <laughs> at this point. No, one more bite, one more bite. All right, uh-oh. Oh, I just realized this might be another make-it-yourself kind of thing. I also just realized that the flavors are orange, strawberry, grape, and milk. It smells like yogurt. Let's try... Oh god, milk. I'm assuming, now that I smelt this, I'm assuming milk is just a yogurt. Ball, just regular, regular yogurt. Once again, I play the fun game of is this gum or is it swallowable? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's gum and be safe. So, interesting thing with this one, too. It's like it has flavor mixing on the back. It's like make a creamsicle or raspberry. I don't know how strawberry, strawberry and grape make raspberry or a margarita, but I'll buy it. All right, all right. Let's just, let's have some fun with this. Let's make, let's make a margarita. So that is milk, grape, and orange, which I, assu I assume they're color coded. I assume orange is orange, purple is grape, and white is milk. That, the candy's not actually that bad. I think I'll eat that later. That's a, that's wild, oh my god. So I'm joking about the margarita thing. I think it's supposed to be cola? Because it actually tastes a bit like cola. It tastes like cola flavor. Those are actually good. I really like those. It actually tastes really good. Very sweet. Very yummy. But I need sustenance. So let's move on to this. Togepi. Um, it's also gum, it's cola flavor, and they have these cute little, little wrappers around them. They're like different Pokemon wrappers. I already ate one. Uh, let's, let's dump the rest out. We also got a, uh, oh god, dual wielding. And another dual wielding. And the czar who has his face cut off because of the bend. Let's eat the Zard. I'm holding on to these wrappers because I kind of like them. So this gum I know is very stale. It is, you would think it's a piece of caramel. Like here, let me just. Oh yeah, you like that, didn't you? Yeah, it's brittle AF. Um, you would think it's a hard candy, but it's, it's gum. I swear. Mm. 
If I, if I edit the sounds on this, I'm just turning up the volume so it's more hearable. Because, like, this is actually hot guy as far as you go. Let's put the gum away while I'm filming. The other issue with this is, like, I don't know if it's supposed to be hard or if it's like this because it's so stale. And that is cola. The issue is, with like, stale gum, it starts to get powdery in your mouth almost. The little chunks fall off and kind of wash away. So you don't get a good solid gum chewing experience. Next up, let's chew this Doraemon candy thing. I think it's gonna be like the the wafer with the chocolate on it. Oh no. Hello, you're a surprise. It's a churro. I'm a little bit scared, because this is the same color and texture as the pizzas. I think this is pizza. I think this is pizza candy. Snack, this isn't candy. Know what that was but it was not good it's it was like eating a lasagna cracker i don't like lasagna that much it's like a lasagna cracker with seasoning and maybe some chicken even in it i was oh my god i need something good to wash it down with these little little make your own gummy things I'm sadly gonna skip because they are too much work for this. I don't have the room, the water, the anything to do it. So I'm just gonna have to say no to that. I, I know those things aren't bad. They're a little weird, but they aren't awful. So I'm, I'm just gonna maybe try them later, possibly. Let's do this one next. It's just a little, little marshmallow. Yeah, let's do a little marshmallow next, yeah. Watch this be like absolutely vile. All right, these kinds of things you got, oh my God, that's such a stale marshmallow. Oh no, I ruined the surprise. There's, there's orange stuff in here. Look at that, it's like a lava flow from the earth's crust. I, I, this was supposed to be a fun surprise and I ruined it because I stretched the marshmallow. I think it's just an orange filled marshmallow. This shouldn't be too bad. I, know, I tasted the marshmallow more than whatever juice it was. It was like a gusher. It was like. It was filled with like a gusher, almost. What is going on with my camera? I got the jelly on my arm. This marshmallow wasn't bad. Marshmallow was pretty okay. It was. It, it was like a marshmallow filled with gusher juice. It actually was surprisingly good for what it was. I liked it. It was good. Next up is this thing with the ghost. Has little orange bits in the corner. Um, I'm a little unnerved about this considering the odd amount of pizza stuff in there. Mm -mm. Oh no, this is more pizza stuff, isn't it? Oh god. I'm being very cautious here. So, it's definitely the weird pizza stuff. Zesty. Maybe it's stale pumpkin, even. But, it tastes like pizza. I'm gonna keep saying pizza. Um, it's just, it lost like all of its flavor, so it's mostly just stale rice cake, but uh, it's, it's the pizza stuff again. Just in little, little puff balls now. This is just pizza Cheetos or stale pumpkin Cheetos. I don't like it. Why are there so many of these in here? That's like three of them I've had so far. One of them really bad. All right, let's move on to this boy right here. He's got happy high AF face. I'm about to sneeze. Oh God, open up. Um, Interesting. 
I was expecting like a Twizzler almost. This is, this is gum. This is more gum. This is definitely gum. That, that is, this is, it's chalky. It's solid. It smells like gum. It's gum. So let's do a little bit of that. Hmm. So I think it's because it's stale, but like there was no flavor and there's suddenly a very strong like sour-ish blueberry you know it's blueberry with a little kick and now it's kind of nothing again it's just blueberry and green apple then probably right yeah it's blueberry green apple it's not bad it's just gum you can get anywhere it tastes almost like a juicy fruit, but like a little more sour kick, I guess, is the way to put it. It's not bad, just, you know, I've had better gum. Like, the, even this gum was better. This was real. I cannot stress how surprisingly good this gum was. Alright, we're getting near the end of this box. Let's do the Gengar cookies now. Thankfully, despite the cover being Gengar... Um, I'm I am positively hopeful for these cookies. I think they're just the, the like the chocolate rice cake covered cookies things, and I don't think they're gonna be that bad. Ooh, I can smell the chocolate. It's still somewhat fresh. Oh yeah. So it's shaped like a Pikachu, but it's super bent out of shape. But um. It's, uh, I'll, I'll eat it. it. Smells good. I thought I recognized, I thought I recognized the smell and the taste confirms it. So it's like, if you ever had it, it's like those tiny rice cakes, but like the chocolate covered ones where it's like very consolidated, kind of like syrupy chocolate almost on it. And it's, it's just that. I like it. I, li I mean, I, I like the chocolate rice cakes. I like the chocolate little cookie things in this bag. They're not bad. They have a slightly weird aftertaste to them, but overall, it's pretty it's pretty good. I'll have another. Hmm. And a few more. I don't know. I'm hungry. This is like one of the first edible things I've had in here. But alright. I can't fill up on that. Or else... The last few things won't have any meaning. Alright, this is the, um, one of the last Pokemon things in here. It is Pikachu Gummies. These, I can't imagine these are going to be too crazy. But I think they're just going to be like... Little, little grape gummies shaped like Pikachu, right? <laughs> yeah. Except, like, to keep the, the ears on straight, they, like, had a little middle bit in there. I think there'll be like a surprise Pikachu face gummy. I kind of hope so. That'd be fun. But that's a great gummy. I mean, like I said, I don't know if it's because it's stale, because it's a gummy, but the flavor's kind of muted. It's 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 like a fruit. It's like get any Welch's or I can't think of another gummy brand, but like just any any one of those has grape flavor. It's, Basically what you got. I just realized the light's like right in my face now. Is it cool looking? Is it dumb looking? I don't know. I'm gonna scoot over here. Lift my head up a little bit I kind of just have to deal with this. I'm sorry. Next up. The ice cream balls. Ooh. Ooh. Get out of my face, sunlight. Jesus. Let me close the window real quick, see if that works. Alright, that did nothing. Anyway, um, mint chocolate to ice cream balls. The, I can't imagine these are going to be too bad. Oh! They're mini wrapped. It's a hard candy. It's a hard candy. Okay. I think I've had these before. Just like in a different shape, almost. Here, I'll bring it right up to you. If you handed me this, said it was mint, I believe it. 
Yeah, it definitely has a very strong... It's not like the sweet kind of mint ice cream. It's definitely the stronger actual mint ice cream. That's not bad. I like mint ice cream. I feel like this will be the deciding factor on whether what I was eating was pumpkin or pizza. Because this is definitely a pumpkin pie. That is what this is trying to convey. Like, I'm I'm not crazy. These Kit Kats are pumpkin pie, right? Yeah. Okay. We're all on the same page. Oh my god. That's strong. They're all wrapped. They're all individually wrapped. But, like, the bag still, still smells very strongly of pumpkin. It smells less like a pumpkin, like an actual pumpkin, and more like a pumpkin-scented candle. Like, there's that little bit of artificialness in it, you know? That light is awful. Oh my god. I'm just gonna hide over here. Hello. So the sunlight doesn't get in my face and annoy you. This is pumpkin. That was pizza. Issue is, I'm not too big a fan of pumpkin, so. It's not awful. I just... Now, hang on. Hang on. Aftertaste. It's actually really good. It has, like, this really sweet aftertaste. I think it might be the chocolate. Like, after the pumpkin wafers go on, the chocolate is pretty good. Actually, why am I pulling this out? Because the last thing is this. The drink. So, for anyone who's not had these drinks before, um, basically, they're, the cap is a little marble in the lid thing, the lip, and you get a little pusher to push it down into it. This pusher's kind of stuck in here. I gotta get it out. But anyway, you, you push the marble into the drink, the drinky, and it like sits in this little middle area. And rattles around really annoying like while you drink it and you can't reseal it you have to drink it all now because it will spill or go bad ah! I did it that almost sounded like confetti just like boing. as you can see marble now inside the drinky covered in carbonated bubbles that's actually kind of cool I do like that about the marble I drink the drink It's sugar water. It's like cane sugar soda. That's the best way to describe it, I guess. It's cane sugar soda. It's not bad. I'll drink it, but... I found a flaw with this. Um, I can't just, like, swing it back. Because the marble goes back into the lip and makes it so nothing comes out. It's to make sure you don't get the extra soda at the bottom, I guess. Not like they're going to get a return on it. Let me drink the soda. So, that was the Halloween box. Now, when the sun gets out of my eye, I will get back to you guys with... Dun, 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 The November box. Ooh. Two hours later. And I'm back. All right. It has been several hours. Um, I've had dinner. I have eaten several other Japanese things. And now I'm ready to do it all over again. So this is the November box. I am not as sure what's in here. Because I never really looked through it too intensely. So this will be fun for you and me. All right, we got booklet that's got a bunch of fun stuff in it telling me everything there is to know about doki doki fishing uh, I sure am glad I know about that now and traveling Japan cool cool more goodbyeness actually need that so soup chips it's, it's corn soup chips what the hell? This is corn soup chips. What am I looking at? Corn wafers? 
corn corn rice cakes lots of corn uh, another one of those make it yourself gummy kits which I'm not gonna do because I don't have the time to do them right now these are car carrot chips they that's a carrot right that's a carrot I think that's a carrot That's a carrot, right? Green apple gummies with a stick. Angel chocolate cookie with the cogwheel shape. Smiley man, um, he actually unnerves me a bit. I could see him in a bad dream I had once, probably. These are apple boys, I think. I mean, I'm basing off that apple there and the boy. Um, these are hamburger patties. That's what these are, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm reading it right. Right? These look like very, very gooey Oreos. I. They unnerved me a little bit. They look like Shrekios. Shrek or Shrekios. You get it? Th this is just Pocky, but I think it's like pig based or something, and it's like porky. This is man candy. This is broken in half. Um. It looks like the chocolate candy from earlier, but maybe seaweed or something. That scares me a little bit, actually. I think this is just a fig new- oh no, it's a McDonald's chocolate pie. This one's just a McDonald's chocolate pie. We've got our Kit Kats for this season. Um, I could not say what that is. Is that coffee mate? Some kind of tea? Is this tea? It might be tea. We have another Doraemon candy that is probably going to be pizza again. I hope to God not. And it looks like a strawberry gummy sort of thing. Strawberry gummy. And then finally, apple coke. That I I feel like I've had apple coke before. I'm not too worried about. It. And then there's there's some dead moths in here. That's for me. They they kind of infested our house a little bit. So, let's put these all away and begin. I also need to move you over here. So, I think it would be a good idea to start by getting the worst thing out of the way. So, um, a book. Here we go again. <laughs> Still a book. Ugh. Carrot chips. Are they urchins? They have urchins on the side of them. But I think that's a carrot. I don't know. I'm having my soda on standby for this one. See, the, the thing that bugs me the most about these is they look like cheddar chips. Which I like. But these are... I don't think these are cheddar chips. I think these are carrots. Oh my god. I'm getting my spit bag ready too. They look like they look like the cheddar sour cream chips that like Ruffles makes, and that makes me so sad because I really like those. This is not that. <laughs> oh, look at that! I was right. <laughs> oh my god. That ta that tasted like the pizza mixed with a sour cream cheddar mixed with maybe carrot. That was... <coughs> oh god. That was really bad. Alright, let's keep this bad train rolling. And, um... Do corn. That this just has like corn soup on it. I'm so scared. Like even if you like corn, this can't be good, right? It even says corn potato snack. This, this can't be good, can it? Mm. Oh, yeah, this smells like corn. Really old, stale corn. I, I said I'd do it. Ugh. Ugh. To its credit, it tastes like corn. It tastes just like corn. Like, 
Gorn is in some kind of broth. Which, I guess if you like that might be good, but at the same time, it's super concerning that they're like rice cakes. They're like rice puffs. And they taste like corn soup. Oh my god. I hate- the, it tastes just like corn, and I don't like corn. Alright, and speaking of corn, it's more corn. It's like a corn patty now. Why do I make myself suffer like this? Why do I torment my soul with... Mm. Less corny smelling than the chips, the, the puff balls, but this is still not great looking. Oh my god. They're, they're just a giant potato chip. But like... Covered in like a glaze, almost. <laughs> oh, I think I spit up a little bit. Oh God! So um, that stuff was even more vile. Um, it it was. Oh my God! How do I even describe it? It was like corn mixed with a bitterant mixed with like a salt and vinegar chip almost like faint salt and vinegar chip got the corn oh my god i don't like corn fish things we're gonna put this to the side for me for later because i i don't i don't have time to make the gummies i don't have the water you think i have water around here no this is 2020 america you don't get anything for free let's let's go to something i know i'll enjoy at least I think I'll... Ooh. So these, um, based on the look, seem like something I can get behind. It's like a chocolate cookie. Chocolate cracker cookie, almost. Biscuit, I think is the word. Um, so let me consume a biscuit. Okay, so first things first. Big discrepancy here. Um, I want you to take a look I'll just whip out my phone. So here is what the cookie is supposed to look like. And here is what it actually looks like. It, it, it's like so much thinner and off-centered. And um, I guess they're astrology based too because it, it has like a little, a little Scorpio on it. It says Scorpio. So I guess these are astrological ones, and that's like... Biscus? Well, I mean, I, I think I'll enjoy this one. I think I like this kind of candy, so... Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a biscuit chocolate candy cookie thing. Not too big a fan of the chocolate. It might just be because it's stale. No, no. I've had better chocolate in my days. But I'll eat this. I will... If I was given one again, I'd probably eat it. Next up, let's try the peach. The peach man. Which you probably can't see. Yeah, the peach man. So that's fun. It comes wrapped in some cardboard coating. Ah. And then... Oh my god. So it's wrapped in plastic. Uh, I'm assuming it's not rice paper. I'm so tempted to eat this because it might be rice paper. This is rice paper, right? Okay, good news, it's rice paper. It's like a peach jerky, almost, wrapped in rice paper. Whoa, you're not supposed to be making noise. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like peach, peach jerky, right? I don't know how I feel about peach. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Ah. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's like, has a hint of sweetness. 
The rice paper is actually okay. I like the rice paper, believe it or not. I think more than the actual thing. But it has like a it's almost like chocolate in a weird way. Like it tastes faintly like chocolate. Maybe it's because I have chocolate in my mouth and this is actually just flavorless jerky that is almost a year old. But it's, I, I don't know. I don't know, it's really weird. I don't know how I feel about this. I'll put it to the side for later, I guess, but I don't know about you. I don't know if I'll eat you. I might eat you. Um, let's skip to something that seems bad. So I can get that out of the way after some good things. That seems like a good plan, right? Um, Doraemon, he's fighting an octopus. I think this is gonna be octopus flavor. I think this is gonna be octopus. Oh my. <laughs> These smell so bad. You know how I said the, uh, the squid earlier smelled like fish food? This does not smell like fish food. Um, it smells like a taco, a spicy taco, almost, but it looks like fish food. Like, look at that. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Let's just do a little, I'm running out of soda too, this box is awful. I like the Pokemon candy better. Ugh. I'm glad I only took a small bite of that. I would have. <sighs> do I do it? Do I do it for the purpose of entertainment? Big bite time. Uh, let's be a big boy about this. Oh wow. Mm. <laughs> Ugh, my god. So, <clears throat> it almost tastes like sweet and sour sauce, but like bitter. Bitter sour sauce. It's, ooh. It wasn't, it's not as bad as the corn. Corn was awful. Corn was atrocious. I hated the corn. But, like, that wasn't that great either. <laughs> that was not very fantastic in the slightest. Let's try a wild card here. These little, little patty things. I don't know what these are. This is gonna be weird. It's... It's chocolate. It's, it's called Dora Choco. Dora Choco. Yeah, it's called Dora Choco. It's it's definitely some kind of chocolate. But like, it's like, oh, that's actually kind of cute. It's like two pancakes with a little bit of chocolate in between. Looks almost like a yo-yo. Here, you get a look at this. You get a look at this camera. It's like pancakes with a yo-yo in the middle. This is probably going to be the most stale out of all of this. I can't imagine this stuff holds up well over time. Could be like a Twinkie though. That thing lasts forever. What is the best way to describe you? So it kind of tastes like the filling is like the filling you'd find in a, a truffle candy or just any candy with like a really chocolatey filling inside of it. Almost like a fudge. A fudge is a better word. It's not a great fudge. It's an okay fudge. <coughs> My second point, very dry, but also simultaneously moist. Um, I don't know how that's possible, but it, ta it tastes like a pancake that someone has let out to, like a microwave pancake. Someone has left out too long. It's almost like someone's left this out for almost a year. I'll have one more bite, but that was, mm. Small bite. I think I'm gonna toss you. I, there's like another another thing in here, but I don't like it that much. Yeah. 
weird. Alright, next up is Creepy Apple Man. It's, it's Apple. I, I'm too tired for this now. Oh! Oh, hello! Hello! So, it's these weird little little boys on like a gummy tray. And there's rice paper along the back. I think that's rice paper. It looks like the rice paper I had earlier, but it's like rice paper along the back. And this is just a plastic molding on front of them. I think it'd almost be cooler if like the whole thing was edible, but it's it's definitely plastic. It even has like a little, little four on it. How do I open it? Is this rice paper? I don't even know if this is rice paper. It could just not be. Oh god, it's breaking away so easily. That's rice paper for sure. Oh, rice paper's like stuck to him. How do I get them out? I can't. I'm just enjoying the rice paper at this point. Gah. Freedom! Uh. Smells like apple. I think this is apple. Pretty sure this is just an apple gummy. Yeah, it's an apple gummy. It's not that bad, actually. I kind of like it. Better than the grape gummy earlier. The grape gummy was... Eh, I mean, it's grape. It's, it's artificial grape gummy, but... Apple, apple doesn't taste too bad. Apple I like. I can enjoy the apple. Thank God it wasn't corn flavor. Oh my... Ugh. Let's keep up with the apples for now and try these little, little green apple squares. These, I, I have a guess as to how these work. So, a little, little plastic coating that you can probably hear clicking around very loudly. And I think I open, oh God, it got stuck on itself. So I open them up like this and I take this little toothpick I got and just jab it in there. I feel like these are supposed to be much softer than they actually are right now. These have been out for more, almost a year. Wow, who would have thought? It's definitely hard. Um, probably because it's a stale gummy. But it's... Not bad. I, I like green apple. Green apple's pretty okay. Green apple candy's not bad. I don't know what to say. It's it's green apple candy. It's just a little tough. And I guess the gimmick is you like stab it, stab it with the the toothpick. But I, I don't know. I just I would like just eat the green apple. What's stopping me from just like? popping it out like that. See? It's that easy. You don't even need a toothpick. Why do I need a toothpick? Just give me the green apple candy. Chocolate pie from McDonald's. I think the lights flickered, didn't they? That's, that's pretty spooky, dude. Spooky month. I almost forgot because I've been inside for so long. But like I said, it's just like almost exactly like the chocolate apple pie thing you can get at McDonald's. It's got the little holes cut in it. It's just a strip and it's, it's a little glazed at the top I don't know if you can see it in the light of my room but there's, there's a glaze on it whether that glaze is supposed to be there or from me leaving this for almost a year I have yet to determine oh it's a lot crunchier than I thought it would be it's a, it's a crunchy glazed, glazed bread and um, I don't even taste the chocolate, I just taste the bread. I only taste the bread, and the bread's mediocre. I'll eat it, probably. Yeah, I'll eat it at least. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. But, it's, it's nothing special, that one. That one wasn't that great. Next up is the suspicious rice cake with, that's falling apart. It looks like the other one where it has chocolate on it, but then, I don't know, the lighting makes it look like it could be seaweed, too. This could be seaweed. It would not surprise me if this was seaweed. 
Mm. That was a weird smell. Indeterminate. That's just not that great of a chocolate. But yeah, it's the same one I had earlier. It's just a little bit less chippier and more broken in half than the other one, but it's the same one I had earlier. It's nothing too special. It's a rice puff with chocolate on it. Maybe it'd be better if it was fresh and not broken in half, but I mean, it's not that great. I said I had it. I said I take another bite. This one's actually a little better. I might eat this one. It's growing on me. All this food's growing. On me. Anything tastes better after the corn. This makes such a mess, though. I'm getting covered in rice flakes. And some on the hair on my arm. I gotta stop eating this before I just, like, turn my environment into powder. Okay, next up. Let's do this little strawberry candy. Actually, there's a bunny on it with, like, a little marshmallow man thing. I think this is a marshmallow. This is... Oh, that's not a strawberry. What is that? It's a walnut, maybe? Oh no, they used improper grammar. And this also expired in March. Oh no. All right, let's let's get to this. Oh. Oh, it's it's a chocolate. That's chocolate. But why is it red on the outside of the cover. There's some kind of filling in this now. I'm a little scared as to what that might be. What in the heck is this? So, the filling is more chocolate. I'm... I shouldn't be surprised. But, like... This... Marshmallow? Is more like a gummy? It's like clear and shiny and liquidy and the chocolate's falling all over my floor and ruining this costume I just bought. What are you? It tastes like a marshmallow covered in chocolate, but this isn't a marshmallow. This is like a gummy. I don't trust you. I also probably shouldn't eat it considering it expired in March. That doesn't seem like a very smart idea. Poor Rikigi. This, I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, what is this? It's look like, it looks like Pocky, right? Okay. Okay. It's a brown stick covered in salt? It looks like a Pocky stick, but it's like brown and covered in salt. What are you? Hmm. It's a chocolate cookie. It's a chocolate biscuit. It's a chocolate Pocky. It's hollow on the inside, but there's nothing in the inside. So it's just a chocolate Pocky. I'll eat that, that's good. Mm. It's just a chocolate biscuit stick thing. It's not bad. I like it. I'll eat it. I don't know why it's covered in salt, though. It was that sugar. I think it was salt. What was, what was that? Maybe it's poison. Maybe it's just rat poison. I'm about to die. Ugh. Alright, we're nearing the end. I think we should wrap it up like we did last time where we do Kit Kat's last... Well, Kit Kat's second to last, then so the last. Um, so let's do the Shrek Oreos, whose box is absolutely crushed in. Opening the box, what will we see inside? Oh, I was about to say my prediction is that it's green tea cookies, but it says green tea cookies around the box, so I'm just an idiot. I don't know how I feel about green tea. Green tea is, green tea is very hit or miss with me. 
It smells nice though. It smells very nice. It's a green tea Oreo. It's a green tea vanilla Oreo. You know, by vanilla I mean like the, the lighter cookie, not the darker cookies. It's, it's, it's a green tea vanilla Oreo. I don't know what else to say about it. It's not awful. A little stale, but I can't say that about everything as, a, as an insult. Kit Kats. I don't know what flavor you are. Could be coffee. Could be tea. Could be vanilla. There's a nice Japanese man on the back of this. It smells kind of mocha y. It's not bad. Once again, very strong smell coming from the Kit Kat bag. Yeah, I think this is some kind of coffee mocha sort of thing. From the from the smell of it at least, it's like coffee mocha-ish. But it tastes like nothing. Hang on, hang on. Getting a faint hint. I think you know what? I think this is tea. I think this is some kind of tea. What tea? I don't know, but I think it's tea. It's okay. It, it tastes, it tastes a lot like nothing. Like there's definitely some chocolate in it, but it tastes like nothingness almost. It's weird. It's really weird. I mean, I guess that's tea. Tea kind of tastes like nothingness, unless it's super duper strong tea. All oh, right. Oh God, the gummies, the apple green gum went everywhere. Get back in there, I didn't get you with a toothpick. So let's end today on a high note. Probably super flat Coca-Cola, apple flavor. Mountain Dew, your time to shine has come and went with the corn. So it's Coke Apple's turn. There's no expiration date on this from what I can see. And all the ingredients are in Japanese. I would assume it's Coca-Cola and apple juice. Ooh. There is no fizz to this whatsoever. Hmm. That's not bad, actually. I like the US should bring this over. This isn't that bad. It's, it's definitely more Coke than apple. But like with any Coca-Cola product that has like the little, little apple hint in it, you know, it's never overt, but there's always a little, little, little hint maybe saying that's something other than Coca-Cola. And this one, it's just apple juice. It's not bad. I'm, I'm fine with it. It's, I can, I can rock with this. Well, let's put you over here. And get you out of here. Well, hopefully this is entertaining. Um, I wanted to try something new. I do have something else in the works right now. I'm working on recording it. It's a super long game. So much so that my computer is gradually running out of memory just trying to record it. And I, I'm gra gradually working on it. I'm, I got a job I'm working on too. So there's that taking up most of my time. But other than that, I'm, I'm mostly free. I'm just trying to gradually get stuff done at a pace that doesn't make me burn out completely like I have been for the past year like when I first got these boxes so anyway I hope you enjoyed um remember to like and subscribe to the video I was told saying that can help people actually do it so I'm trying it and remember <laughs> oh no I was going so well um if you get anything from Japan that has corn on it anything at all don't eat it because it's not good. Um, I did almost throw up. I think. No, I didn't. I'm just exaggerating. But it was really bad. That was not great at all. Happy spooky month, everyone. 
Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs>